I ain't trying to fight. We're here in Seattle. Double <laughs> A baseball on the show coming your way. It's the Chet oh, the Pugas, it. and the Tennessee Smokies. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Starting pitcher in this one, Richard Gallardo. What's the word on him? And his last star couldn't carry his warm-ups in the bullpen out to the mound. Couldn't get out of the first inning. Very frustrating for this guy. But today, he's focused on having a quality start and pitching his team to a win. Okay, all set to go. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Gary Rowe. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. 110 miles per hour, and man, that exit velocity. Not every hitter's capable of getting that kind of jump off the bat, no matter how hard they swing. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's some real power at the plate. Derek Rowe caught everyone's attention yesterday afternoon with three homers. In there, and it's 0-1. All ones on the count. That one is absolutely belted, and it's gone. A big blow to the home fans. His 52nd home run of the season. It's 2 nothing.
you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. And now, Tyler rolling. Line drive, base hit. So, a man aboard. Now it's going to be Nathaniel Moore coming off an incredible hitting performance yesterday. Liner stayed with first. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. Next to hit, Nathaniel Rowe blasted two home runs in last night's game. Lined into left center, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a two-bagger. All over that one right there. Loud contact leads to the double. You could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of the stick. Here's the power hitting catcher, Leon Rowe. He was electric last night, coming off a great hitting performance. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And they hold the runner at third base as they decide not to risk the set with two. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball. We go to the bottom of the first, and here is Zach Davis. The pitch. That's the third. Sends it across it. the first, and a quick out number one. That exactly. Let's take a look at the lineup. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're hey. seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored. And you want to get off to a great start. Score early because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. Rowe makes the play. And a couple of quick outs. Batting third. The first baseman, number 34. And now the first baseman, number 34. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. In the air, foul off first. Rowe makes the catch in and go. Nothing doing here this half. One inning in the books here. The lookouts out front, two to nothing. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's a big power threat. Daniel Madrigal. Daniel Madrigal. Gallardo back to work. That one ripped. It bangs off the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. He was all over that one. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up. And it went screaming at 108 miles per hour. So, man aboard, Gary Rowe getting ready to hit. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Madrigal, around third. He will score, and they lead by three. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And now, number 55. And that one hammered 
Davis ranging back. Back some more. To the warning track. Makes the catch. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Now it's the power-speed combo. Gary Rowe. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Line drive, come on! Throw behind the runner, they got him doubled off. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 3-0. Welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, Owen Casey. That's in there. Strike one. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking Whoa, hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. And a 1-1. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Swings through it for the K. He swung over top of the curveball. Oh, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball if you're the pitcher. Hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. And he deals. And a ball evens the count. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Goes down looking. Two outs, base is empty. And now Moises Ballesteros. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And a swing and a miss there. No Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. But my mojo right. And my motor right. So I roll it down. Back at T-Mobile Park, on to the third inning, and here's the first baseman, Derek Rowe. The wind of the pitch. Gallardo, 6-1 righty, he features a four-seam fastball, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Wings and crushes one right field, way back and gone. His second home run of the game, and they add to the lead. It's four nothing. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here's a speed threat. Tyler Rowland. That one's on its way. No question about it. And that one will go. That was a moonshot, and they tack one on the board. It's five zip. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat.
Back to back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, dude. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Nathaniel Moore digs in now. He's 0 for 1. That's hard hit on the line. Casey settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was the clearly bat, all bat. over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and Not right Daniel. at someone. You're looking for oh. one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Nathaniel Rowe, the next to hit, doubled in his first A.B. There's a swing and a drive. And he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a homer that time. He was all over that fastball right there. I'll tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Two outs, space is empty. And now, Leon Rowe. And first offering is fouled off. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Rowe will handle the catching duties in this one. 23 years old. And he's driven in double-digit run. Ah, now this ball splits the gap in right center. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double. And his second hit. Wasting no time. Two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Bailey Horn on the pitch out of the pen here. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Base hit. The run comes in to score from second, and it's now a six-run lead. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. That's his second hit of the day. Magical. Around third row. Caught the run down now. The run scores all the way from first. It's seven to nothing. The tag, and that's out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the left fielder, Bradley Beasley. This one popped up. And there's one down. Batting it. Not shortstop. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ed Howard. Measures six feet two inches, 185 pounds, a former first round pick in 2020. Swings through that one, one and one. Late on that fastball. That was straight queso right there. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. And here is Pablo Aliendo in there for strike one. Just off the inside edge. And a pitch. And a foul ball. The pitch. Struck him out swinging. Gassed it right by him. Back in Seattle, and now the DH, number 55. Randy Horn, back to work. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw to second is offline. Now Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. 
Back to the top of the lineup, Gary Rowe will hit next. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Foul ball there. And a pitch. On a line, base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. And now the big time power threat, Derek Rowe. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. And it is gone. He made him pay for that one, and they throw three on the board. It's 10 0. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. A three-homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. Ben Leeper takes over on the mound. He's into the game with the bases empty. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Tyler Rowland. He's already homered in this game. This to third. The throw to first. He's out. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. The bat, number two, shortstop. Now it's the shortstop, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Moore. Moore. This guy has turned into a beast. Rip to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. He'll touch them all. His 46th of the year. And they add to their lead. It's 11 0. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. One down. And stepping in is the speedy Nathaniel Rowe. Hard hit, but right at him and left. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's going to be Leon Rowe. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Ripped on a line. Beasley grabs it on the run. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. To the bottom of inning number four now. Back after this on the show. Back here at the ballpark, John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Zach Davis. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike of the knees. And it's 0-1. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Swings and misses. He swung over top of the curveball. 
Oh, no, there's a three pitch strikeout. He now can do whatever he wants with the baseball right there. Miles Mastroboni getting ready to hit. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. The Smokies still looking for their first hit in this one. That one finds the corner. That is strike two. That's down and in. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next offering is fouled back. The 2 2. That one to first, and it goes just foul. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Struck him out looking. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Number 34, the batter oh, now as he swings and misses for strike one. That's towards center row. Coming on, got it. Nice grab. And that's the inning. Yeah. Who that in the whip? Yeah, you know it's me. Yeah. You can't stop my shine. Welcome back. Stepping in the long ball threat, Daniel Madrigal. And a pitch. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Swung on. Belted. That's back there. Gone. He'll circle the bases, his 47th home run of the season, and they tack on to their lead. It's 12-0. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. He gave it a great effort, but you know, those plays are so tough to pull off. And I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. So one out, nobody on. Stepping in, number 55. That one drilled left field. Beasley calls it in to a run. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Rip to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. That'll fire up the dugout, his 53rd homer of the year, and they add a run. It's 13-0. Well, he went up there 0-0 looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. will take over here. He has a great slider with tons of movement. So digging in, Derek Rowe. Base knock center field. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Now batting, left fielder, Tyler. Here's the left fielder, Tyler Rowland. 
He's already homered here in this one. In the air, out towards left center. Davis makes the catch. That is the inning. Bottom of the inning to the batter now, Owen Casey. The right fielder. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. To the right side. On to first. He's out. One up, one down. Now that and now here is Levi, Levi Jordan. Caught looking his first there. time up. There's a strike. Now this guy is just Hold filling up the, the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Righty delivers. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's locked in the at the plate catcher, when he's using 35. the whole field. He was out in front there. Just yeah. needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. By Esteros oh, that's in. in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Left hand batter waits. Three. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. I don't wear a cape or apron, so I ain't saving you a cleaner house. Do you think that's just a statement? Then you loot a Chris like it's word of mouth. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in is the switch the hitting shortstop, Nathaniel Moore. Smoked on the ground a second. Slings to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. The batter number 15, second baseman. Here's the second baseman, Nathaniel Rowe. One for three. Hit hard, base hit. Leon Rowe now at the plate. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Now the 0-1. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. And at first, now it's the power-speed combo. Daniel Madrigal. Madrigal. Drilled to left center, way back there, and that is gone. His 28th home run of the season, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 15-0. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Gary Rowe digs in now. 
Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way. And gone. He powers that one out to left. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add on. It's 16 to 0. Now he's just showing off out there. And who can blame him with a swing like that? Give that man a bat, watch it go a long way. take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run, but he squared it up and knew it was gone. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Brad Wick. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Next is the designated hitter, number 55. Cruising on the mound right now, but a dangerous hitter here in this spot. A guy with some slug to him. He swings and fouls one off. With 31 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2014. And now the lefty swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. That's back there. Gone. Three in a row. Wow. And they add to the lead. It's 17 to nothing. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. Pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. Now, here is Gary Rowe. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. He sends it out of here. His 54th home run of the season, and they tack one on the board. It's 18 to 0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Wow, four consecutive home runs. These guys are taking batting practice in the game. Just unbelievable at bats. And I'll tell you what. That hitting coach over there in the dugout, he's feeling pretty proud of himself right now. Derek Rowe, the next to hit. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that keeps the inning alive. Now I'm sure he feels really good about that one. At 110 miles per hour on the exit velo, that thing was screaming and... That's some serious bat speed to generate contact like that, and no doubt a higher launch angle sends that thing out of here easily. Out front and foul to the left side. That one ripped. Hits the fence. The relay across is the runner from first. And they extend their lead. The Bottom of the six. Now the left fielder, Bradley Beasley. And the right hander back to work. On the ground, Rowe. Tosses to first. One up, one down. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ed Howard. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. She was never down, she just did it cause she owed you I told you, I told you, I told you And a ground ball to first Rowe oh. steps on the bag, two up, two down Third baseman, number two Here's the third baseman, Pablo Aliendo Struck out swinging his first time Pitch misses inside, inside. and that's ball one. 
Aliendo, just 21 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. And he hits a ground ball right side. That ends the inning. So he's perfect through six. Seventh inning coming up. The lookouts have the lead. 19 to nothing. Jeremiah Estrada taking over on the mound. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. At the play, Nathaniel Rowe. That one hammered center field. That's back, and it's gone. His 37th homer of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 21 to nothing. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. So up next, Leon Rowe. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that ball is out of here. Another one. Back-to-back -back homers. His 36th home run of the season. It's 22 to zero. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and he drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Jose Quas into the game. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. And now the right fielder, Daniel Madrigal. Swing and a laser off the bat. This looks like extra bases. And now let's see if he goes for it. Around second, he wants to cycle. Howard to the relay throw, and he the bat. Well, the defense definitely on the clock with that one. Everything had to be perfect to get the runner at third. When you talk about a throw on the money, the relay to third, just a good job all the way around. Here's some real power at the plate. Gary Rowe, and the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Ripped on a line to center. Davis pulls it down, and there's two gone. Two outs, base is empty. Now, here is number 55. Lined, and that's a base hit. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Gary Rowe. That one ripped right center field, and that is gone. He rockets one to right, and they add a pair. It's 24 to nothing. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So two down, next to hit, Derek Rowe. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. Around second, he wants the cycle. Howard, relay to third, yep. and he's yeah. out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Well, it looks like he got a little greedy right there going for the triple. He was already in scoring position. Back at T-Mobile Park, leading off, Zach Davis. And that one fouled off. The 0-1. And a swing and a miss. 
all game long. He's really done a great job of keeping these hitters guessing. You've got to play with that front foot. He's done exactly that, keeping them off balance. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And first offering is fouled off. The Smokies hitless so far in the game. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece and stays alive. Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys go nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Kicks and fires. He goes down looking. Yeah, why didn't they call the perfect enemy, man? That was a all three nine strike nine strike. And welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. And now Tyler Rowland. Quas back to work. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended. This one's into the gap in left center, and that should be extra bases. Rolling, coming home. Now a relay to third. The tag, and he's out trying for three. But they do get a run. Nathaniel Rowe getting ready to hit. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Back to back base hits. Just now a back. very nice approach and swing it. right there to use the big part of the field. Oh. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. And now the catcher comes up to him. Leon Rowe. In the air, right field. Pretty well struck. Casey going back. Back some more. And that one is out of here. His second home run of the game. And they add a couple more. It's 27 to 0. Well, he almost robbed the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that, and so close, but that one was just out of the reach. So they bring on the veteran, Shane Green. And we all know about his slider. It's just sure. filthy, man, and one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Another homer is 29th of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 28 to nothing. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. Man. You know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. One out, base is empty. Gary Rowe now at the plate. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Davis makes the grab for the second out. Now that designated hitter, Randy. Number 55 digs in now. 
Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Line drive. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that is that. in Seattle. Now it's the right fielder, Owen Casey. Come back into the mound. Sends it to first, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. And he's now just five outs away. He's got a real shot at this thing. Yeah, Boog, he is rolling just in one of those grooves where he looks pretty unbeatable today. Next offering is in for a strike. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Here's the catcher to hit. Moises Ballesteros. Swing and a bouncer. Row. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So now 24 have been set down. The right-hander back to work. That one ripped. here his fourth home run of the game and they add a run it's 29 to 0 wow this is awesome I mean a four homer game they're just so rare they're so special and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for you, but of course, you got to make it happen too. And these are the types of performances that people just don't forget. And it's definitely that one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Throw is high and over his head. He'll make it up to third, and I'm sure that'll be an error of the outfield. That is the cycle. History here, and what a game he's had. Chris, you hit for the cycle, so you know what this is like. Yes. It's a really cool thing to accomplish, especially when your team gets the W. And one thing that gets lost in this is that you had at least four hits in a ball game, and not a lot of guys can even say they did that in the course of their career. And yeah, the batter now, Tyler Rowling. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. In comes the run from third, and the lead continues to grow. Power with a relay throw, the tag now. But one run is in to score. Well, the defense definitely on the clock with that one. Everything had to be perfect to get the runner at third. And you talk about a throw on the money, the relay to third, just a good job all the way around. Next to hit, Nathaniel Moore. Here's a high fly ball out to center. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two away. Now batting. The second base. Digging in. Nathaniel Rowe. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Trailed the left center. Way back there. And that is gone. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here's the catcher, Leon Rowe. And he drops it down the third baseline. And he barehands it. And that's a great play for the out. Let's get it. The stop takes time. Time. The stop takes time.
Welcome back. So bottom of the nine. Here's the left fielder, Bradley Beasley. Fought off foul. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, 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 now. Right. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They are going to make the play. Swing and a miss. He swung over top of the curveball. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Hard hit, right side. And he handles it, it himself for the out. 26 up and 26 down. One more out for a perfect game. This is awesome, Boo. On the verge of baseball history ah. here and certainly one of the most dominating pitching performances we've seen. Everyone locked in right now. Check oh, swing. He one. held up. And the count even one and one. This one lifted in the air, left field. He's got it. It's a perfect game. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever. you know